Hey, y'all, it's K and G every day, and we're at Fort Scott. Fort Scott's in the eastern part of Kansas, and here's part of the uh, infantry barracks, and they built the fort for the protection from the Indians, and also has been used part of Civil War days. And it was built in 1842, and it went until 1873, but there was times in the middle that it wasn't used, actually. It's a fort that residents lived there. So here we go. Now let's go check this out. See what we got here. There's another one of them back there. It must have been for a wagon. Here we go. Let's see what they had. Oh wow. This is where it's where you would have got your groceries and it's actually cool in here. Look at all this. All your barrels. Barrels. Barrels, everything. This part of their dock, they'd back the wagons up to there and they'd roll things in and roll things out and put them in other wagons. What does that say right there? Salt, Salt beef. beef. Look at that. Flour, Salt, pork. pork, flour. There's another dock on the other side. Salt, pork. Look at this. There's an, Yeah, they could bring it down on that side also. Up oh, there's a basement down there. And then the basement. Let's go in the basement. Coffee. Got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, they had coffee. Everything there. come in a barrel. They people don't realize that everything came in a barrel. See, they even drank their coffee back then. Okay, makes fun of me for drinking my coffee. I don't drink coffee. I I, I do Mountain Dew. Oh, it's cool in here. It looks feels good. Wow. Look at this. They probably store their stuff down here. That I would store cooler. stuff down here. Now. Oh, look, there's stairs out right there. Look at this. Here's, I bet they put the potatoes and onions and all the stuff. I wonder if they put even put gunpowder down here so it stayed cool. No, they had the, we'll go see the other building where they keep the gunpowder. Okay. Powder. Yeah. They kept the gunpowder actually away from the people. She Just think of it. all the soldiers were down here. This will tell what they put down in here back then, you know? Oh, well, look at these beans. Those things are massive. Put your hand up there. Here, put my little hand up there. Got yeah, you got big hand. Let me see mine. Hang on. See, that's big. I got little hands. They can see all the ax marks where they cut them, you know. They cut all those with the ax. They didn't have a big touch saw they run through anymore. They see all the ax. Pretty cool. All right, let's go up. Here we go. If you go to the left, you see a part where they uh, go upstairs where the original construction of the building was. As far as... Oop, almost... I have no dip perception. Still put in the corner. Oh, looky here. This is where they put all, this is original here. Yeah. All the hand hewn beans. That's where all the axe marks I was talking about. But yeah, they made little bricks and they packed it all in there. It's Copies amazing this building's still standing. It's almost 200 years old, 180, whatever it is. Wow. It's amazing, they made stuff to stay back then. Here's a supply system they had here. So, yeah, this was a supply room. This one we looked at a while ago on the other side. And they got some more stuff back in there. No, no air conditioning. But no, but it actually feels good in here, which is shocking. And we got it upstairs. Oh, oh we can't go upstairs. Okay, guess where we're at? We're at Fort Scott's latrine, John, outside John. So this is a, what's left of the outside, John. Yeah, they put lye in there. They would neutralize all the acid and try to keep the smell down. But obviously there'd be a wooden structure over this and you gotta go to the restroom with all your buddies. There wouldn't be like private divider walls. And then there was a wash house over here that's not here anymore. And how many times, how, when were they were supposed to wash? They thought it was a good thing to, uh, if you could take a one bath a week or wash your feet twice a week, that was, you're being pretty clean at that yeah, point. Yeah, so here's a picture it shows where that and look that would have been a depot hey at least they had something it's not like back there these trees would not have been here back then so i'm sure it was an open field probably so yeah there's nowhere to hide for that so on our way to the bakery and the, so you imagine it's hot today and it's not even that hot today this is part of some kind of horse thing or something. This was all fenced part in. Part of the quartermaster's. There's, this is the only building that remained of the quartermaster. So that'd be for your horses and probably the uh, 
I don't know if the tack and all that other stuff is there, which doesn't totally make sense. The horses that are in the thing, but maybe someone can answer that and explain it. Maybe somebody can tell us why the horses were next to where the bakery was at. Because you know there was horse poop. You can flies. smell your flies. Yeah, I never thought of that. Flies. Here's, there's a highway right there. So Fort Scott's the eastern part of Kansas is on Highway 54. It's, I don't know, 10, 15 miles from the Missouri border, but it's free to get in here. Pretty nice place to visit. It's great for kids. It's level. A lot of this you can get in very easily. Good for handicap. Yep. Well, it would be hard to get a wheelchair in here, but at least you'd be able to come up and look out the... Which would be nice if these were ramped, but at least you could look out into it. All right. Ooh, it's nice and cool in here. Look, here's what they... That's how hot it'd be back in their baking bread. Stuff. 18 ounces a day. All soldiers took their turn at baking bread. One baker was expected to turn out 200 loaves per baking. Enough to supply two, two company posts for two days. Wow. Look at that big old paddle up there. Here's your, where they kneel it and made it. Here's where they cooked it. It's neat how they staggered this in here. I don't know why we say, oh, look, there's, there's the cooking. Well, I bet that made some nice bread. Let's see what's in here. That's where they put their wood, I guess, or yeah. coal. Probably wood. Wood. Oh, you know what? No, I guess I say they bring it out, but I guess it's for the cooker. And then here, well, it doesn't open. There's wood down there. That's where they just stored it. Oh, that's where they stored it? Yeah. Okay. All right, this is the proofing rack, so I'm thinking this is where it cooled off at. That's what it is. The ashes would go down in here. Oh, is that where the ashes went down you there? Burned the fire here. Yeah. Then your ashes would go down in there, then you'd shovel them out. Oh, okay. That makes better sense. Look at these paddles. So look how big those loaves of bread were. Look how long they were, because that's how deep it went in there. And here is all their. This is their bread molds right here. This is the molds right here. So I wonder if that was one loaf or there's dividers in there. I don't know. Look at here. Well, that's pretty cool. They had to eat. So here's where they made the bread, folks. Yeah, big door stop. Big old chunk of wood for door stop. You know, as hot as molasses in here. Woo! So it had to have been hot. This cute little stone building, though. That is narrow. a nice little stone building. That's your building. You like the stones. It's up here, it looks like it's a carriage house. I think one of them was like, or that the ambulance, or I don't know. We'll go look in there. Some of these are like the officers' quarters and stuff down through here. All right, we made it up to the, see what this is. She likes that brickwork or rock work. I do too. I think it's pretty. Yeah, it'd make a cool old building even nowadays. Doesn't say what it is. All right, so we're going to mosey on down. So I think these are back of the officer's houses. Yeah. I didn't get a, I did not take a picture of the bread house back there. Bread place. All right, I think this was. One of these is where Amlets was at. All right. Oh, it's not back the back. Is it the back or the front? Okay. This is the back. This is a back. That's what well, I thought. Well, they had entry from that porches on both sides. Like here's a backyard, and provide the officers' quarters. Provide the officers and the families private space. Unavailable to enlisted men. Backyards were cited the version. Uh, we have gardening, gossiping, and entertaining. There's their garden over there. They did the same things a couple hundred years ago. Yeah, us women have it changed, man, can't games, we? Plant your little garden. Oh, look, here's the... Oh, yeah, this will be a Look at the like sunflowers. Now, these sunflowers are native. These, when you when you see Kansas license plates and stuff, or maybe not the license plates, but you'll see the flowers, the sunflower. This is the sunflower. That's the real sunflower, not the big ones that you see. That's in the... the one that they're that they're talking about is that one. Okay, so this is the ambulance. As they say, this I didn't make make this up. Call 911 Civil War style. So this is where the ambulance was kept. What kind of ambulance do you think it was? 
Don't do what she did. Don't lean over this fence too far. You will set alarm off. This thing is tall. Yeah, where well, the gurneys are at up there is over six foot. Yeah. It's big. They set you on the gurney and slide you in there. It's, I bet it's two layers, so you can put like two down below. You know what? I bet it is two layers. Let's go over here and see if we can see. You can't hardly, you can't stick your thing in there very far, though. Let me see. Can you see? No. See. You, I, I bet there is. I That's bet there is, because there's a vent. There's like a vent-looking thing right there. Look how tall that is. Barely fits in this building. Well, now you see what they did 911 years ago. Yeah, there used to be a wall right there. There used to be all kind of buildings here. This is what's left of it. I'm shocked that it's in this great a condition after all these years. I think it's uh, 1978 they declared it a National Historic Site. So it's probably sad, abandoned for a long, long time. I mean, like, how were they even able to destroy it? So they're doing something there, so we're going to go around the back. Yeah, they're keeping stuff updated, and they're doing work to help preserve it. Of course, another thing you have to look, there's also a water source down there. There's a creek, and I don't know what it is, but there is a creek. Got a nice rail fence. There's the back of it, in case you... Yeah, this if one. I recall right, cannons were in that building. I think so, because I fell over one of them. Couldn't see very well. Tripped over it. Oh, here's water source. Is this water? Yep. So that's where water. your water and hydrants yep. so at. came fire hydrant. Came prepared, didn't it? So you imagine how busy this would have been and the noise and the horses coming and going. They had to have a lot of horses that was over there. Yeah. You know? It would have stunk. There wouldn't have been grass or trees or anything here. No. And look, look at these pretty officers' houses. That's like amazing. They're still in great shape. Boy, you would have been something if you got to stay in that years ago. Oh, yeah. Or even now. It would be nice now. They've got them marked off. Well, that one down there is not, but I don't see a door open. Do you? No. I think they're all closed up, but we can look. So, we'll go up here and look. We'll see what they, oh, wait, there's one open. Look what a view they had. Let's see what kind of view they had. Look how wide these stairs are. Why were the stairs so wide? Look at this beautiful work. That's a, probably the original door. Wow. Oh, look how grand. Of course, it probably looked there's something missing, you know. Oh, the lights came on. Look how grand this is. They're re oh, they're working on this. So it is originally what the wall looked like right here. Right there. Yeah, this has been a pretty fancy. Uh, yeah, so years ago, even the houses in Arkansas, they had this little thin board and they put plaster over it. It's a last board. Look, and you go into some gorgeous room in there. See, look at how big the windows were in there. Yeah, the windows go all the way to the ceiling. Man, those are amazing. Building the fort, nodging glass and plaster. So, yeah. Look at the windows. So, here was. They're showing you that it went all the way down to so the fireplace, went all the way down. Oh, not to my phone. Okay, here we go. Oh, what do you think? Oh, this, look at the floors. This might have been like the living room or I'm, the bedroom or something. I don't know. I don't know. Look at that. Looks like a bathroom wall, but I'm just, that's not original. No, no not but nice. this may be because look at this. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look at the windows. Look at the view you had. So they had a beautiful view out front. Look, they have a porch on the back. Yeah. Down the back. Man, can you imagine the people that they... Look at the far place. It's huge. There's a wall fixture. Oh, wow. Go down or up? Uh, oh, we can go down or up. It says 41 or 42, so we didn't read it to find out what 41 and 42 was. Uh, how bad is it? Oh, it's not too bad. Gotta be brave. Yeah, well. 
This is a pipe I'm holding on to, by the way. Well, it's a handrail, but yeah. Yeah. It's There's dark, so arrow. if you have low vision, you need to bring a flashlight or turn a flashlight on your phone. Okay, let's see what's down here. So this was, I don't know what this was. Oh, lights came on. Look, this is original wall right there. This is not an exit. So yeah, you can go through there, yeah. Probably another family would have lived down here in this building. I don't know, cause they would have went, they had a bottom porch here exit to come out. That's one on the bottom. Have, Here's the- They've been all different families. This must've been a far place that came all the way yeah. down. That's what they're showing. Yeah. Look, here's original rock. Look at the bedrock down there. That is so cool. There's the original beam. Oh, wow. Here's a beam. Look at this. Let me hang on to my phone. Wow. This might have been the kitchen back in here. You know what? I wonder if this was the kitchen. I don't know. It smells old, don't it? Yeah. It smells old. It's more of that. Look at this old plaster. I don't know what that bead, what do they call it? Bead board or something? Oh, look, this was the kitchen, I bet. Looky here. Number 12. I don't know how we get in here, but. Oh, well, if I'd paid it, just look up. This is green. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's go sneak. Let's see what's in this closet, because I'm nosy. There's something in this closet. Hang on. Look at the, look at the doors. I'm nosy. Oh, here's the original color was green. There's the shelving. Oh, it smells old too. Let's close it back. Let's go in here. Okay, here we go. I bet this was, look at that big fireplace. Look at this. Well, there's numbers. So if you, and the forest came in through right here, y'all. Um, there's numbers. So Apparently you can find something that's got the numbers on it. So any if you're watching this video, you can find that. Here's a list of what we came in the back door. Oh, we came in the back door. Oh, we came in backwards. What was this? What was number nine? The pantry? Oh, so this was the original stair right here. What a help we had that piece of paper. Okay, what's number eight? What's this room? Closets. Let's close. So the closets were added. Hang on, let me scoop back. They must have used this back in the 1900s for different stuff. Yeah, because they wouldn't have had closets back then. It's very few. This is actually more modern looking right here. Yeah, they repurposed part of Yeah, I think they did. I'll take the brochure. What was this down here? I don't know. What was number four? The classroom? This looks like the classroom. Number four said 20th century wainscoting. Oh. Yeah, this is like a classroom. This must be been... A chalkboard. Yeah, this is something. They, they had a chalkboard for something. Look at the ceiling. Goodlander home blackboard. Yeah. So we got a brochure. We can get through it all. This house has survived more than 140 years, built in 1845. It was a home of the officers and their families until the war was abandoned by the Army in 1853. Two years later, the fort property was sold to auction and became a private home. In 1901, it became the Goodlander home for children serving the needy. In 1959, it was made into a, to a local civic group, which was used the building for meetings until uh, in eight, 1979, it was transferred to National Park Service. Wow. Well, at least they did a good, hopefully a good purpose for it. All right. You ready to go out? Yep. It's kind of hot in here. Here we go. All right, so we made it out. We're assuming that's officers down there. We're not going in every single one of them. So maybe you'll... There's also things in town to see, aren't there? It's an old historical town. And I never heard of this until we moved to Kansas. They had to been very... I mean, to live here in the 1800s, that would have been pretty cool. See what this is. So we don't know what this is. More officers quarters, I guess. Probably. Can we take a picture of the barn? See the barn over there? The yeah. 
Okay, no, I think this was the sewing or something. We're almost done. Oh, uh, what's this one? It says that was the rank privilege privilege officer row is what this was. This is what it used to look like. So they did yeah. have some trees back look there. Look at that. They had the trees. Look how fancy they're little. Yeah, there's a lot of buildings missing. There's more now. Bis buildings they missing. They did have a fenced off area there too. They sure did. They had trees up there. That was in the snow because it looks like snow. It's winter time. looks like snow's on the ground. But some of these trees, they were had trees. All right, let's see what this is. I think this... You can't go upstairs, which I don't blame them. These are nice. It's cool underneath these porches. Uh, this, is it. this is this is not the original. So this is how... This is the laundry room. So this was a person in the laundry room. They slept in here. Can you imagine sleeping where you work? <laughs> no. Look at that stuff. The old Arnon board. When do you think they have one? Look at the bloomers up there. Some people might not know what bloomers are. Panties. There you go. Undies. Undies. Where I come from, they're undies. Yep. I don't know what they call them. What do they call them here? See what this is. This is the company office. So, doesn't look like much actually. There's the mail right there. And this tells everything that's gonna happen. What did O'Brien do up there? I can't read him. Uh, guard duty, dispatch duty. Oh, wow. He did a bunch of stuff. Look, whatever, it, got guard duty. Oh, that's other people's names under O'Brien. Hey, that top name is bigger, so that must be like the officer or something, or the a lieutenant or something. All right, we're going to go into that round thing in the center, the brick thing is where they stored the gunpowder, ammunition. That's where they stored the gunpowder. We'll go out there last. All right, you ready to go in where the horses are kept? So this is where the horses were kept. I knew they had to have a lot of horses. Here. That's the only way they get out. I mean, that's the only way they got anything just about done. They had to have horses. Man, that's big. Look how many horses. Let's go in and see what the horses. Here's a big door. I bet this allowed a wagon. Yeah, I'm sure they allowed to get in. in and out. So, here we go. Wow. Look, here's the saddles. Room. Yeah. There's all the tack for the horses. Okay. Of course, you know it probably. Look at the for, look at the pitchforks. They're made of wood. Yeah, metal was precious back then. Here's where they put the horses to feed. Just think of the horses that ate out of here. That was probably been a lot of horses. Wow. This is all their stuff up here they used on them. Brush is missing. This is the grooming area, they said. There's a lot of stalls in here. Yeah, there's, a whole lot of stalls. there's a door. I don't know. Them horses had to be big. Look out that window. You know, he goes so far in here, but yeah. Oh, there's a wagon. That's a nice wagon. See what's down in here. More. So all down through here is more stalls, and here's a wagon. I knew it was wide enough for something. So horses pulled that wagon. There's a water bucket for them. You know. Good. There's a this wagon. Part of the barn. They don't let you go through all the way through. Yeah, that's enough though. Yeah. Make sure you're good. Let's see if we look at that. I love these pitchforks. They're wood. That is so cool. You know what? Here's the pack room. Again, 
Maybe it'll go a little slower this time, y'all. Brighten up where you can see it a little better. Sometimes I tend to go too fast. I'm learning. So if you're into history, there you go. There's a lot of history in Kansas. This thing is long. Yeah, we only went part where would a little bit past where those windows are open. So look how long it was down through there of stalls that we didn't get to. You don't get to see. I don't know what this one is. I have no clue. But there's the part of the town you can see over there. It's all it's it's historical town. They did have this open, but I guess they're working on it. I don't remember what it was though. We came here oh way over a year ago or something. Uh, I don't know what this was. This just talks about the hard life. So this is the visitor center in here. Um, there's signs that says your tax dollar at work. So this is being paid by Texas. And look at the conditions. I have now over 200 can 200 in camp there, the most deplorable conditions. I have a mother with dying, with dying babe in my office. The rest are in camp in a condition next to death. Most of them have no shelter. Your agent here has funds, no tents. No funds. No funds, no tents, no, nor clothing. Do for heaven's sake send something along at once. Two poor creatures died during last night's storm. So this was during the Civil War. So it wasn't as fancy back then as... No, it's probably in look, dilapidated conditions. Yeah, you can see here's tents. Like all this open area here had tents. You know it had to be bad. This is in the middle of nowhere back then. You know? So... This is where they stored the ammo and the stuff out here. Of course, this is modern. I don't know what it would look like in the old days, would you? No, I, I think that's kind of period correct. Oh, you think know. that? Well, they might not have had brick. They wouldn't have had brick. But I bet they had some stone. If I, did. I, I bet it was some. We'll go inside and look and see. I think it was some kind of stone-like, but it, this looks modern. So you imagine all this area was full of tents and you you seen the bathroom they had. One. Bathrooms all the way yeah, that's true. That was for, wasn't that for the that's officers? For the oh, that's for the hospital. I think that might have been the hospital over there. Whew. So I guess they went in these doors to get it. They probably passed it out there. You know, you had someone inside that hand the right. ammunition to dispense it. Yeah. All right, here we are. We're in the ammunition room. Oh, so they had it out here. Let's see what's in here. Musket. There you can read it. There's all the balls and. Look how thick it is. Here's all the ammunition. 100 Fort Fard. Look how thick this is. This is thick. This is what, two feet? At least two feet thick. Yeah. That's not that bricks back then, too. I don't know. Look all I don't know either. It's all wooden on the inside. Look at the top. Look up. Powder magazine. Look up. Oh, wait. Let's go up. Who wants us to look up? Oh, cr oh my goodness. That makes you sick. I had you putting all those bricks in there. No. Oh, I'm dizzy now. Okay. That is really super thick. So I guess if it supposed to went off, it's supposed to. Not blew anybody up, and that was close by. Yeah, you ready? Oh, this is open. Oh, y'all are open. Okay, so we're upstairs. This was this was the hospital. What it was like. So this is what. Look at what they had to lay on right here. Hospital bed. Should have had more packed in here than this. 
Is there equipment? I'm Is sure. there a medicine with saws and cut a lot of things off? Yeah. That's mostly what they did. There wasn't anything really back then to give them. It's amputation. Got well on their own, and that's it. It's nice up here, though. Let's see how you can see out. Here. So that's what poor Scott looks like. Used to be able to, but. Oh, you What a view. If I scan it in. Here's a picture of the town. Pretty cool. Yeah, people hung out out here and they probably slept out here. And... Oh, this is big. Let me show you how big this porch is. Look, it's wraparound. Watch. There. There's the jail down there. Let's go see the view from the back over here. I'm going to take some pictures. I just left G. Okay. Look at this porch. It's wide. Look at this. Well, you had a view from up here. You can see, now you can see how big this porch is. It's big. Look at, here's the doorway. We're going around. I love their, look at the windows they have, let plenty of light in. Here's the stairs down. Those are kind of steep stairs. They're big, wide stairs. I have seen people get uh, married here. I think you can rent one of these or something to be married here. We were here a long time ago. I guess the only time we've been here. And we were married, and we watched some people get married. I love the old, even the town is historical. This has a lot of history here. Like I said, I never heard of this place until I moved here. All right, we're back around. We made a circle. If you made it to the end of this video, more than likely you like history like we do. And thank you for watching our video. And we'll see you later, Gator.